We did get quite a few reports of wind damage, and you see all these little broken tree icons indicate where that bow echo moved across areas north of Baltimore City, starting out in Frederick County. That's where they really got hit hard out in Frederick. And you can see it just kind of made its way across Carroll County and into Baltimore County and then eastward over towards the eastern shore. That's where we're seeing the focus of the storms now over on the eastern shore. We're zooming into uh, sections of far southern Cecil County, down into Kent County, uh, and also down into portions of Queen Anne's County. That's where we're seeing some of those stronger storms now. You can see they're kind of tracking their way towards the south. And east. And again, some of those heavier storms there producing gusty winds and very heavy rainfall around the uh, Church Hill area. Also uh, getting over towards the Centerville area. Goldsboro could be getting on the action. We're seeing some redevelopment back in the portions of Montgomery County. You can see there out towards uh, and into. Um, Sections of western Howard County, too. So, out towards Clarksville and Dayton and Highland. This is going to be heading northeast towards Ellicott City and Columbia. So, again, the only severe thunderstorm warnings are still in effect for portions of the northern Caroline County through Queen Anne's County and into Kent County. That goes until 645 and a very small sliver of southeastern Cecil County. But no other warnings are in effect and they continue to cancel the severe thunderstorm watch as the severe weather threat is winding down behind that band of storms. Storms will continue here for this evening for another couple hours, particularly over on the eastern shore. Drying out for tonight. Partly cloudy skies, low to mid 70s when you wake up tomorrow morning. And then it's just going to be hot for the next couple of days. As this cold front pushes off to our south, it will take the rain with it, but the humidity is going to stick around. And by the time we get towards Thursday, we're expecting highs in the mid, maybe even upper 90s. You factor in the humidity, it will feel like over 100 degrees. And we do have an alert day in effect for Thursday due to the fact that we're expecting high heat and humidity across the region, both combined. So the front's just south of our area Tuesday, Wednesday, so we stay dry. Our next opportunity for storms will come later Thursday, but it will be more isolated than what we've seen here over the past couple of events. So storms coming to an end tonight. Low 70s, highs tomorrow around 90, mostly sunny and hot with a west wind at 5 to 10. First alert, 7-day forecast. Again, the hottest day of the week will be Thursday, 96. Dry the next couple of days. Slight chance for a storm or two on Thursday, and then it'll be humid with more heat and more scattered storm chances into the weekend.